So basically, as I'm sure you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a Tumblr inspired hair tutorial video. It's basically like a mishmash of all different hairstyles inspired by pictures that I've seen on Tumblr or even Instagram, but they kind of have similar pictures on the both. There's about three different kind of ideas that you can take ideas from or do exactly like I've done it or do whatever you wish with it but I hope it gives you some inspiration for your hair if you are feeling like doing something a little bit different there's a lot of like colours involved and all that kind of fun stuff so I think you're going to really like it hopefully I think you're going to really like it so if you do please give this video a thumbs up and let's hop straight into this video so this first hairstyle I was inspired by these two different pictures. The one on the right I believe is Vanessa Hudgens and I just absolutely loved the chalk hair effect. So that is what I'm going to be doing. It's very boho and it just gives it that extra edge. So for the colourful part I'm using my hair chalk and hair chalk is a great way to colour your hair because it's really inexpensive. I picked up this set for like £5 from eBay and it washes out of your hair really really easily. Basically what I'm doing is going ahead and taking a small piece of hair and then twisting it and just colouring on the chalk. And then you end up with these really cool colours and you can use any colours you like however I've just gone for like different shades of pink on one side and then blue on the other side to match the picture that I showed in the beginning. So once you've added all the colours you like, just brush the hair through, wait for it to dry and then you are done and you have these crazy cool colours in your hair. So for this hairstyle, of course we need those messy beachy waves. So the night before I just did my hair in four regular braids, hence why they look very messy. And today I just took them out and then you get this very kind of casual messy wavy look. And I just run my fingers through them and then you are done. And for the finishing touch, I'm just going to create the braid across my forehead. So I'm just taking a small piece of hair from underneath on one side. I'm doing a regular braid all the way down to the end. And then once you've done the braid, I'm just securing it off with a clear elastic band. Spreading the braid apart so it's not so perfectly looking. And then basically just taking it across my forehead and going to secure it with some bobby pins underneath the hair. Then you may just want to play around with it until you are happy with how it looks. Just spraying that with some hairspray. And so once you're finished playing around with how it looks, this hairstyle is complete. I just absolutely love it. It reminds me of like summer and festivals and it's just something really different. So now on to the second hairstyle, I'm going to show you how I got this really cute and effortless braided bun. My hair is already kind of wavy from yesterday so I'm just basically going to back comb the whole top section and then hairspray it to secure it into place. Um, I'm then just going to find my parting which is on the side and then once I've done that I'm just going to slightly comb through the top section. And this is me in fast forward, yay! So once my hair has an extra added little volume, I'm just going to start braiding the whole front section. And so to do that, I'm splitting my hair into two sections as if you're going to do two regular braids. So to begin this style I'm just taking a small chunk of hair at the front of my head and then I'm going to begin doing a French braid and if you don't know how to French braid you basically split the hair into three as though you're doing a regular braid and then each time you're going to add a small section of hair to each side and then braid it in. When your French braid gets past your ear, you are then just going to carry on all the way to the bottom with a regular braid. 
So just braiding, braiding, braiding to the end. And then securing off the end of the hair with a clear elastic band. If you prefer your braid to look cleaner, you can leave it like this, but I wanted to give it that tumbler picture effect, so I'm just basically pulling on the braid to give it an extra bit of volume. And to create the messy bun at the back, it's actually a lot more simpler than it looks. All you want to do is grab the two parts and then you're just going to twist them around each other and keep going until you have no more hair left and then just secure it all into place. So if you've watched this video to this far you've probably gathered I don't like my hairstyles to look too clean looking so basically I'm just pulling out little bits of hair at the front to frame the face and then I'm going to curl them away from my face literally hold it there for like a second and then pull it out. And just giving my hair a quick bit of hairspray and then we are complete. So for the final hairstyle I'm going to be showing you this really pretty and colourful fishtail braid that was totally inspired by this really cool picture. Most importantly for this look we want to create a really nice fishtail braid so basically I just took all of my head to the side and pinned it there and then I'm going to start my fishtail. So you just want to split the hair into two and then take a small section of hair from each side and then you're going to cross it over and then you're just going to repeat this all the way down. It can be a little fiddly to start off with but then once you get the hang of it it's really simple. And once you've crossed over each section of hair, you just want to pull the hair nice and tight. So once I've got to the end of this extremely long fishtail plait, I'm just going to secure that off with a clear elastic band and then sort of spread the plait apart to give it a bit more shape. So now for adding in the colours we're going to need some water and some hair chalk and basically to do this I'm just going to dab some water onto the part of hair that you want to colour and then I'm going to choose the colour that I want to use so I'm just going for a pink and then I'm going to start chalking that onto the hair and you can use any colours you want and you can place the colours wherever you like in the braid. I just added a few colours to mine but I just think it's a really cool way to add something a little different to a regular fishtail. I hope you enjoyed all of these Tumblr inspired hairstyles and if you did let me know in the comments below which one was your favourite. Also if you try any out I'd love to see them using the hashtag Tumblr Hair with Grace. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle.